So this is how it's supposed to look and because of rust this is what we got. So let's see how we can make it look again like one of these guys. So we'll start by removing all the rusted metal. This usually comes really easily. <coughs> now with a piece of cardboard, we will try to get the shape of the hole. So we can create a template where we're gonna get our, our metal part from. So now with our template, to the proximal shape, we're ready to pass this shape into the metal. So here is the actual piece of metal. So let's see how it fits. So grab your magnet behind. So there you go. I think it fits perfectly so if you're wondering how I did this make sure you check out the video that's popping up right here to uh, learn how to make a to go from a template to an actual piece so now that we got this right now let's clean this edge around so we can get a good metal for the welding After finishing cleaning the edge, check to see if you're still working with good metal. Okay, so we are ready to start welding. As you can see, I painted the part uh, on both sides for protection. And right now what's held in it is one of these guys, just a magnet that I put on the back to make sure that it stays there. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and tag it with the welder. So here I had done just a few little dots just to you know hold the position and two things that you want to look out when you're doing this first of all is the metal of the car is actually uh, you know has been thinned out so usually whatever calls for new metal you want to go lower in the heat and speed that's something that I found out as you can see I started I started in this area right here with the proposed heat and speed and I actually made a hole so be careful with the heat and speed of wire that you use and another thing that I'm trying to do I don't know if you can see I'm trying to stay flash as I'm going I'm trying to stay flash with the metal and if I'm not able to get flash at least the be it's better to go below the surface as you can see in this spot, the actual car, it's a little above the metal. But there's places that down here that is pretty flash. So the rule of thumb is if you if you do your best to stay flash, but if you can't, list there below because you can always fill it with bondo. But you can never, if you stay above, then that makes it really hard for, you know, for when you're doing your body work. It's going to a piece of metal is gonna stick out your surface and you're gonna be able to see it so uh, let me keep going here and then I will show you once I have more welds in there all right so we cut I got quite a few more there now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go hit it with the grinder and clean those welds the first round after grinding it as you can see a lot of the welds actually fell off so that means that they weren't really uh, held in there but basically from this point now I mean we can see some of these ones actually held there these ones here held there and then some most of the ones here fell off so now it's just basically keep doing the same you know 
tap it where there is no welds, grind it, tap it, grind it, tap it, and then uh, then you continue until you fill all the perimeter with the uh, welds. All right, uh, there you have it. So we did more welds and we grinded them, and I'm pretty satisfied. This piece of metal, it's in there now. It's not moving at all. So I mean, don't worry about you know how these little holes and it doesn't look even. That will all be taken care of with the with the bond. Though we're just gonna have to do some bond in this area. So now the next step is we have to replicate this hole where the side skirt attaches. So we're gonna see figure out what what size this is, and we're gonna put one right there. All right, so I found a bit that fits pretty good. Uh, this one is uh, 11, 30, 11, 32 seconds, which I'm pretty sure is something close to metric since, since this is a German car. So obviously we won't start to make the hole with this guy. We will start the hole with my, something much smaller and then we'll grow it from there. So now that we have the metal and we know the size of the hole, now we need to figure out where are we gonna put this hole. Something that something that we can do is since we have these two holes right here, we can you know use a ruler and make sure that our hole is gonna be lined up with those two holes. So if we can see a hole here, we can see that those two lined up, lined up, and then they are all they are all in line. So as long as we follow that line and we make sure that our hole is following that pattern, then we know that we got our hole in the right spot. Okay, so now that I now that I was able to figure out where the middle of the hole is relative to the other holes, we can go ahead and start the hole. Make sure that you get a puncher, a center punch, and then you start a hole that way you are not all over the place. And then, remember, we're gonna start with a smaller bit and then increase to the bigger size. So now that we got our starting hole, we're ready to start using the hole tool. And then we will we will keep going until we achieve the size that we want. So now we made it to the size that we want. And there we go. So now the next step, you know, we're gonna have to put some bondo and paint over it. But basically, we have again hope. So I hope that you liked today's episode. If you did. Make sure to stick around for next episode where we're gonna be installing, we're gonna be trying to fix this right here with a new part. This right here with a new part and the trunk with this. So if you are, if you have the same rust spots and you wanna see how I, how I fix them, stick around for the next one. Thank you so much, see you next time. <laughs>